Welcome to the September 11th edition of the Sideline View. That's kind of an ominous thing, isn't it? September 11th. I know I was writing that all day yesterday about on the dates for our stories. It's like everything was 911, 911. So that's kind of kind of weird. But anyway, let's talk a little football. Oh, that's you were at uh, you were at Piers um, last Friday. You saw Holding Ford thra- or kind of thrash them a little bit. Um, what were your uh, thoughts after you came away from that one? Holding Ford's a really good two A team. I think uh, they went to state last year. They'll go. They'll probably go back again this year. Uh, Piers and Crosby are both in that section, but uh, Holding Ford's got a lot of weapons and a lot of experience too. So I don't uh, I don't see them losing, shall we say. Um, Pierce will be fine. They'll be fine. They played a really good team, and uh, Pierce is always good. So they'll probably finish second in that conference, and they'll either get the, the either the three or two seed in that in that section, or maybe four. They'll get a first round home game because they're that good. And mm-hmm. So that's kind of what I what I expect. I got Pequot this week. Uh, I know they kind of they blew up on uh, Staples two weeks ago and lost last week to the Prowlers of Thief River Falls. But uh, so we'll see what we'll see what we got with Pequot. Uh, they open up a brand new complex though, so that'll be exciting for the for the community. So that's kind of the, the main highlight there. Mm-hmm. Brainerd had uh, was at Wilmer um, second uh, straight week in a long uh, couple of road trips here and uh, pretty much handled Wilmer. I mean uh, not as bad as Fergus Falls week before, but they beat Wilmer 21-7. Wilmer scored in the last in the second half and so uh, Brainerd again has really uh, rushed the ball very well um, um, Connor Gessel's um, already pushing like 300 yards after two games and like uh, he's got like three touchdowns I think and and they've thrown it um, when they've had to I mean they had a couple of nice long plays last week it was to Quinn McElfrey who made a great great run and catch after after he caught the ball so it was really a, a well-rounded offensive effort and then defensively I think they've caused uh, five turnovers in uh, two games so um, they have Alexandria coming in here this this week, and I would imagine Brainerd's going to be pretty uh, considerable favorite there again. So um, we'll see what happens. I know Central Lakes College, on the other hand, uh, is two and zero. They're ranked 16th in the country in the NJCAA in football, and um, they've got a task of coming in here at 1:30 on uh, Saturday. So um, lots of football coming up, obviously, and. Uh, so, so people want to know, the Brainerd Warriors, they score 72 against Fergus and only 21 against Wilmer. Are they kind of in the middle of that, or is Wilmer defense that good? Or uh, I think Wilmer's just a lot better than, than Fergus obviously was, although Fergus turned around and beat Ricori last week, which I guess kind of surprised me. I mean, Ricori had been up the last couple of years now, but they're 0-2, and uh, I thought Fergus Falls was maybe going to have some trouble winning some games this year, but uh, yeah, they, that was kind of a surprise to me, so... And St. Cloud Apollo's 2-0 and in the conference, that's, that's kind of a surprise too. Yeah, that's, um, I think like I was telling the other day, I think they're about once every decade, they're pretty good, and it looks like so far this year, uh, you know, they've been pretty good. So we'll see, Brainerd plays them in a in a week, so that'll be a be a good test. Both teams might be 3-0 and by then, so see what happens. But how about some other area things or some other... Um, um, other sports we can talk about today. And I got Brainerd tennis tomorrow, so we'll see us. It's kind of the first time we'll see them. Uh, new ho- new head coach uh, Miss Salo, and uh, see how she's got the girls. I know they they took a tough one against St. Cloud Tech, but Tech is is very good. So other than that, they hadn't lost, and uh, mm-hmm. I don't think. And so so we'll see how they do yeah. against uh, on Thursday. I've got girls soccer on Thursday, and Brainerd is uh, yesterday. Uh, Drubbed Wilmer 10-1. I think it was Sheena Vastel had five goals, and uh, Maddie Waters had three. So um, pretty much uh, I think Brainerd uh, has not lost in conference yet. Has one. I think they're like 4-0 uh, with one tie. So um, they've been uh, doing very well. Obviously, you score a lot of goals like that. That's, uh, you know take it to the other other team a little bit there i guess but they've that had, happens they've had a couple girls score quite a few goals i know jenny hendrickson scored quite a few yep. to begin the season so they got yep. some offensive weapons that's they nice do. to see jenny's the athlete of the week this week the first one of this school year so uh um you know they're off to a great start i know C- clc volleyball also off to a good start um they're look they won their first two conference matches uh, last week they've got fond du Lac, i think it is coming in here tonight and then they go to for to a tournament next weekend uh, which um, Coach Peterson thinks it's going to be a pretty good test. They've got some four pretty good schools, Rochester being one of them, I guess. So we'll see what happens on that front. Yeah. Anything else? I got Can't nothing. Yeah. All right. We'll hope to um, see you next week, uh, talk a little more uh, fall sports, and thanks for joining us. Thank you.